I couldn't sleep at all last night. Me neither. The only thing I heard all night long was Moo Moo snoring. We've got to do something about it because I couldn't take another night like that. We could sleep out in the garden inside a tent. I got it. Why don't we build a treehouse and make Moo Moo sleep there so we can finally get some sleep? Poor Moo Moo. It's not her fault she snores so much. She has a bad cold. Fine, whatever the reason is, we still have to build the treehouse, don't you agree? All right, let's go get everything ready. My friends, as you all know, Moo Moo hasn't stopped snoring and we haven't been able to get sleep at all. So we're going to build a tree house so we can get some sleep and relax. I thought Alfred was the one that snored. Excuse me, Rita, but you should know that I don't snore. I breathe with style. Whatever you say, Alfred. We have everything ready to start building it. So everybody do what Milo says. I want my own room with a double bed and three mirrors. I don't know why you want so many mirrors when you always dress the same. Ahem, what are you saying? Are you insinuating that I don't have style? No, no, that's not what I meant. Of course not. Milo, whenever you want, we are ready. Well, fine. The first thing we have to do is get everyone up top. Let's get on the platform. Good. Now everybody get to work. Rita and Olga, you can start building the walls. Talalo and Alfred will prepare the ladder. I'll help out wherever I can. Hello, my friends. Hey, what's going on? Mumu, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be doing your homework? I already finished. What are you doing? We wanted to surprise you. We built a house just for you up here in the tree. <laughs> Thank you, but I already have a house. Why would I want another? Moo Moo, the problem is that you snore like a lion and we can't sleep with all that snoring. So we built you this little house so that you could sleep here. You're throwing me out of my house because I snore? <laughs> I'm so sad. But we all need to rest. And with all your snoring, none of us can sleep. <laughs> I'm so sad. You don't want me to sleep with you in the same house. You don't love me anymore. Moo Moo, we're sorry. I'll tell you what we'll do. This house is for all of us, and we're going to sleep here all together starting tonight. Am I also going to sleep here? We're all going to sleep <gasps> here. You'll see how uh -huh. much fun it'll be. Come yeah! on, quit crying and help us finish it. for this beautiful house. And don't worry, because I promise I won't snore tonight. Not even a little. Alfred! Quit snoring! I'm not the one snoring. It's Moo Moo! 
What can we do to make her quit snoring? We can make that noise that people make when somebody's snoring. I know which one. It sounds like she stopped. Finally. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. night. Good night. Alfred! Make that noise again, really loud this time. Let's see if she shuts up. Alfred? Alfred! Alfred fell asleep. I can't believe it. Now Alfred is snoring. Now Rita is snoring. This is a nightmare. Now you're snoring too, Milo? You know what? I'm gonna go home now so I can sleep all by myself. Good night. It's been a while since I've come here. This place is always filled with sheep. Yeah, I know. The sheep are a bit confused, don't you think? You could call it that. I say they're very confused. They never notice what's going on around them. <laughs> I bet you, if we stood right in the middle of them, they wouldn't even notice. And how would we do that? That's easy. We disguise ourselves as sheep and go and visit them. They'll think we're sheep, and when we're among the herd, we'll start running and shouting and we'll scare them. But why do you want to scare them when they're so peaceful? And besides, where are we going to find the costumes? Ah, uh, it's a scientific experiment, Moo Moo. I want to prove that they won't notice a thing unless we scare them. As far as the, the costumes, that's easy. Since sheep have so much wool once a year, they have to be sheared. And all the wool is kept. We'll go and get that wool. And what should we tell the others? The truth, that they should wait here and that we'll be disguised as sheep. Momo and I are going to do a few things. We'll be right back. What are you two up to? We're not up to anything. Rita wants to do a science experiment, even if I don't really understand it. We're going to go look for some wool to disguise ourselves. <laughs> yes, that, that's it, to disguise ourselves. We'll be right back. Those two are definitely up to something. Today they seem pretty calm, and I don't think they're doing anything bad. That bit about wanting to disguise themselves for some scientific experiment doesn't sit right with me. When they come back, we'll see where it was they went. This disguise is going to be awesome. Come on out. Come out and let me see it. Wait a second, ah. I've almost got it. <laughs> you left some wool for me, didn't you? Are you almost ready? Woo! Everything's set. Are you ready, Moo Moo? Do I look like a sheep? Wow, that's awesome. You look like a long-necked sheep. <laughs> now it's my turn. Hurry and come out already. That fits you perfectly. You'll see how cool this is going to be. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen those two. Where could they have gone? Don't worry, they'll be here soon. Look at those two strange looking sheep. Yeah, they do seem odd. I don't know, there's something strange about those two. Are you all blind? Those two sheep are Moo Moo and Rita disguised as sheep. Oh, you're right. Where are they going? <laughs> this is easier than I thought it would be. This is cool. Now what do we do? Let's keep bellowing, and soon you'll see how my scientific experiment will unfold successfully. Bah! 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 
What? What are they doing? Let them play. Nothing's gonna happen to them. That's not necessarily true. When Alfreda the sheepdog sees that they're not sheep, she'll throw a fit and, and stop biting them. Shouldn't we warn them? Let them learn a lesson. Okay, Moo Moo, are you ready to scare them now? <laughs> yeah, yes I am. How do we do it? We'll count to three and then we'll scare them. All right, sounds good. One... Two... Ah! That hurt! A dog bit my butt! Ow! That hurt! Me too! Ah! Your experiment has gone bad! I hope you both learned your lesson. Jump in the water, Rita! That's brilliant! I'm floating! All right, I'm floating too! Bull doesn't float, Momo! Where did you get this bull? Quack, quack, quack! Quack! Look over there! It's quack. Momo! Everyone look! Quack, 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 quack! Quack, 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 quack! <laughs> hey guys, you coming in? Milo, you coming? Alfred, you coming? Don't worry about me. You go ahead. Hello. Hello. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, Yay! quack, 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 quack. Yay! 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 Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. Something terrible happened last night. Well, I slept very well. Excuse me, Moo Moo, but we're talking about me, not you. Sorry, Rita, but since we're always talking about you, I thought that for once I could be the center of attention and we could talk about me. The two of you need to stop talking about yourselves for a change. It's always me this or me that. It's time you learn that the world doesn't revolve around you. Sorry, Alfred, but it's because I think that I'm important and because of that I and only I... Wait, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, anyway... Enough about me. What do you think of me? You'll never learn. I think I'll go for a walk. I can't stand any more of this. Good morning, Mr. Snail. Where are you going? Good morning. I'm on my way to the lake to look for some water. But the lake is far away. Do you have to travel that far every day? Yes, every day. I go back and forth to the lake. It takes a long time to get there and even longer to come back because I come home carrying water for my family. It's what I do all day. Go back and forth, same thing every day. So why don't you move your house closer to the lake? I'd love that, but my house is so big I can't move it. I can only move the little house that I always carry on Hello, my back. Hello, Mr. Snail. My name is Rita, and my friend Moo Moo and I are going to help you. Me? I mean, I... I can't because I have to... Don't worry, Mr. Snail. You'll see that we are going to help you. It's just a minor detail, Rita. And here I was thinking that you only thought about yourselves. Alfred, we are going to show you that we're really nice and that we don't only think about ourselves. We also really like helping others. Yeah, that's right. We help everyone. Rita... Who needs our help? Mumu, Mr. Snail has an injured crawler and has to go to the hospital so that they can give him six shots. Huh? What? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Mr. Snail. It was just a joke. Let's go to your house and you'll see that everything will be just fine. Tell us where it is and we'll follow you. My house is right in the middle of a field of flowers. Let's get going. 
Mr. Snail, whenever you want, you can start moving. I've already been moving for a while. Rita, aren't we moving too slowly? At this rate, we won't even get there by tomorrow. So what do you want me to do? This snail is moving slower than a sleeping turtle. Mr. Snail, why don't you climb up onto my ear so we can move along a little faster? Sounds good to me, but I don't know if I can handle that kind of speed. Here we are. This is my home. Welcome. It's very pretty. Where's your family? My family is visiting their grandparents. They'll be back next week. They will be so happy when they see that we've moved near the lake. So now we just have to get everything ready to go and then move the house to the lake. I'll put myself here in the middle, and you all decide what's the best way to take me. I'm not sure how we can do it. It seems easy, but we have to do it very carefully. Why don't we just put the house on top of a log, and Rita and I will carry it? What a great idea! Rita, you take that log on the ground. Moo Moo, you put the house on it. Now all you have to do is pick it up and we can go! Hey, Mr. Snail! Is everything okay? Everything's perfect, thank you. From up here, I have a great view and I love the speed. Don't worry, you're gonna see how soon you'll be in your new home. Here we are. Now, you have to decide where you want us to put your house. Some place that's near the water, but well protected. Let's see, a special place with a nice view and well protected. We could put it right behind that rock. That looks good to me. Uh. Oh. Oh. Thank you for everything. Rita, I'm so tired. I want you to carry me home. But Mumu, today we did such a good deed for Mr. Snail. Not exactly. You helped out Mr. Snail, but I helped you out. So, get ready, my friend, to carry me home on your back. I don't think so. All right, Moo Moo, I'll carry you, but you'll have to make a big jump to get on. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right now, one, two, three. Ah! Ow! Oh, you two, some things never change.